Earthbenders are stubborn and strong. Every move they do hits hard and their defense is second to none. So if you're one to solve problems head on, this is the bending for you. And today we're going to teach you one of the moves they would use in the show. But before we do, let's play a little game. Let's say you were born in the Earth Kingdom. If the last number of your like on this video is a one, a four, or a seven, you're just a normal earthbender. If it's a two, a five, or an eight, sorry, but you're a non-bender. And if it's a three, a six, or a nine, you are a metal bender. But wait, if it's a zero, you get to bend lava. So let me know what you got in the comments. What's up guys, this is Only Ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. This is episode four of my Avatar mini series, not only breaking down the fighting styles of the Avatar, but literally teaching you techniques that would represent moves that they would do in universe. So make sure to check out the previous episodes for uh, water bending, air bending, and the Avatar as a whole. But in this video, let's talk a little bit about the weapons that Earthbenders would use. Now the Earth King has an incredibly diverse range of weapons. Daggers, katanas, uh, naginatas, shields, bows, stas, the list goes on and on. And I mean, that makes sense considering they've been fighting a war for a hundred years. But in my opinion, the best weapon to complement the earthbender way of, of combat is the twin warhammer. Very similar to sledgehammers in constructions and appearance, it's used to augment the potency of earthbending attacks and elevate the power to levels that people just can't handle. And that's basically what it's designed to do in real life as well. Historically, a warhammer would be used to crush somebody in their suit of armor like a, like a soda can. And so although it may be a little bit slower to wield, the power is through the roof. And don't worry, you should be able to check the links in this video to see if I can find some good war hammers for you guys, if I can find them. They're kind of hard to find, not gonna lie. But if I do find them, they'll be down there. But let's jump into that tutorial. For our earth bending episode, we are going to go through a very solid defense for a grab that continues and focuses on the defense prior being prioritized over the offense, just like earthbenders always do. Now, I have Carmen here to help me with the self-defense. However, if you don't have a partner, don't worry, you can do all these techniques, still practicing them um, and making sure you have the solid foundation and solid stances that we're gonna go over um, because that's what earthbending is all about. So the big stance you're going to need is a deep horse stance. If you wanna show them, bang. Bending both those knees, having our knees wide, kind of like you're sitting or squatting in a chair with your feet facing forward and your back straight. So we're gonna start with a grab. Ooh, let me move my uh, wristbands out of the way <clears throat> with a grab, a simple wrist grab. There are many different ways to get out of wrist grabs, many different ways, but this is just one of them. Starting off with one of the, let go, most famous earth bending moves, bang. You see this in toss form. You see this in uh, some of the earth bending in the rumble. They do this. You see this all over the series. So we're going to start off with one of the biggest moves in the show. For today, our interpretation of this move is going to be that it actually smashes the hand or wrist, either breaking it, making it loose, or pulling it out so you can rotate out of the wrist grab. So I'm going to come for left hand striking down. My right hand is going to circle inward and come up. One more time. It'll turn a little bit so you guys can see. Striking down, circle inward with my right hand and come up. As we go through it, bang. From here, let's say she's going to knee me because I'm obviously open. I'm going to be ready for the knee with a 2x uh, or a single x block down at your angle. You don't want to be straight down because then that knee will come straight up to your face and you don't want to be too far forward because then it'll hit you where you don't want it to. So make sure it's at a nice 45 degree angle outward. From here, again, what's open my face. So she's gonna try and grab my throat or something. I open up, shooting my hands up and out, up and out, keeping myself based. I step into my partner and 
push away. This can be a push to the shoulders if you wanna be nice to your partner, which Carmen's pretty cool, I don't wanna hurt her. But if you wanted to be a little bit more mean, you could strike the face with that push as well, which will do much more damage, obviously, because getting hit in the face, it sucks. As someone who's broken their nose like at least eight times, it never gets better. So take that with what you will. So one more time, it's going slow. From the grab, I'm going to left hand down, right hand uh, circles up, bang. Knee comes in, block. Grab comes up, break the grip, and push away deep in our stance. And there we go. With a little bit of practice and lots and lots of repetition, you could become a real life earthbender. And if you wanna go over more earthbending moves, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do even more avatar episodes because so far it seems like you guys like it. So, with that said, let's go back inside for the rest of the video. Earthbenders are a force to be reckoned with both in universe and in real life. So if you're interested in learning more about how to use uh, the bending elements in real life, definitely check out the rest of this series. I also have um, a like a like a playlist that you can just binge all of them if you really want to as well. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. And oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, let me know, please, let me know what uh, sub element you would like me to cover because you guys have been blowing this series out of the water and I wanna continue to do it. I know I'm already gonna do chi blocking and things like that. If you've watched this long, you probably enjoyed the series. So I wanna hear your opinions. What sub elements would you like me to add to the list? Whether that's metal bending, uh, lightning, um, blood bending even, just let me know what you would like to see the, the real life implications for uh, as far as the sub bending elements go. But now that I've said that, um, I'll see you guys in the next video because my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to